Hello guys, this is Alien Butler Blunders and I'm here today for another figure review. Um, today I'm looking at the Walking with Dinosaurs Polycanthus on, in the foreground, as well as the uh, Utah Raptor. Um, now, these are from the 1999 BBC TV series, uh, not from the recent movie that was made. Um, and these are quite difficult models to find, actually. Um, I was lucky enough to find these two in a charity shop, but from what I'm aware of, most of them come secondhand on eBay. Um, so yeah, so it's either from um, secondhand online shops or lucky if you're lucky in, in online stores, but they do not make these brand new anymore. Um, and yeah, so um, I think they're from... I'm just looking at the bottom of it. I think they're from a company called Toyline UK, which um, I don't think they're known for anything else than this. And it's not Toyway, that's it. It's not a familiar name for models like Collecte or Safari or Schleich. It um, must have just been a one-off thing for the TV show. Um, so anyway, um, they're both surprisingly large models. Um, so I've got my ruler there, and they're each about 20, 20 plus centimetres long. And then um, there's, there's a biro for comparison. So they are very large models. They're about twice the size they would be if they were um, Collecte or Schleich because they're both quite small animals. Um, so because of the scale, they would, they would, like, they'd be expected to be sold at smaller size, but um, they've made them to quite a large scale um, so anyway, having a look at the Polacanthus, um, I think I think the figures hold up very very well by today's accuracy standards. Um, even though the TV series was twenty years ago, I don't think our view of Polacanthus has changed much. Um, I have seen some revisions where it's a lot flatter instead of having a curved profile, it's a lot flatter, like um, um. In more akin to like the flatter view of ankylosaurs, which is viewed today, or or nodosaurs, which is viewed today. Um, but um, other than that, there's I don't think there's been any major revisions of the armor plating. So the armor plating is still pretty accurate even by today's standards. Um, a comment on the posture of both of the models is that they they both got very very static, very neutral postures, and I think what the um, retailer has done is they've used the same models they used for the TV series and um, just produced molds of them so that they're not even in any posture they're in very 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 neutral positions um, that I think so that the, the CGI models had on the BBC TV series um, but um, nonetheless, they're both very nice, nicely painted, nicely detailed figures. Um, yeah, so um, moving on to the Utah Raptor, um, it's now this would not hold up by today's accuracy standards. It's um, I've seen some depictions of Utah Raptor as a much bulkier animal for its size. So as dromaeosaurs get larger, they tend to be quite bulkier than the much um the much lighter smaller relatives. So um so the the neck would be shorter, the head would be larger. Um anyway, but um still very nice figure and um accurate to the 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 presentation of the animal in Walking with Dinosaurs. Um and these are these are both animals from the episode from episode four, which was Giants of the Skies, they were um, on the on the small islands of Europe in Spain, I think it was. Um, so yeah, they're both European dinosaurs, and yeah, I'm from England, so um, this definitely is an English animal. This is uh, this one, on the other hand, is an American animal, Utah Raptor. Um, I think for the BBC TV series, they they didn't have um, a predator for the sort of English environment, even though they knew a lot about early Cretaceous plant eaters. They didn't have any early Cretaceous carnivores, even though they're now, they know now today um, uh, that there was Baryonyx and Neovenator and um, 
many different predators in that same ecosystem. But I think in the in the early nineties, they didn't know enough about them to have a name on them, so they just um, used an American animal. Um, so there was no evidence that these two directly interacted. But in the TV series, they were seen in sort of a predator prey relationship. Um, so yeah. Um, if I was to rate the figures overall, I'd give the Polacanthus a 8 out of 10. It's, um, it's a very, very nice figure. Um, a little bit nicer than the Utah Raptor. It's a very nice bulky figure. Um, the only problem is posture is very, very neutral, very um, not very inspiring. Um, and for the... Um, and the... Uh, for the Utah Raptor, it's it's not as compelling figure, and even though the paint job is very nice, it doesn't come across as an as an impressive an animal as the Polacanthus does. Um, so whereas I'd give this an eight out of ten, I'd probably give this um, a six out of ten. So um, all the same, it's very nice to have a retro um, retro nineties dromaeosaur. Um, so yeah, um, they're very nice together in a pair. So um, yeah, um, if you can find these figures anywhere, they're very scarce. So I would recommend getting them. Um, but unless you're like a very very avid fan of walking with dinosaurs, I wouldn't overtly recommend them. So if if like me, you grew up with the series and you want some nice throwbacks to the series, I'd recommend these or any others on the line. Um, but other than that, you're not missing too much if you just keep yourself to the um, more mainstream productions of Collector and Safari uh, LTD. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching my um, figure review today, and um, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.